yeah, yeah, yeah. Just guys, yeah, you're exactly. on camera. Okay, I'm on camera now. Okay, great. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you is, do you know what human rights are and what they stand for? To you. So, uh, to me, I guess it's that um, I live in a country where I don't really think about human rights because we have we our country apparently really good at it so we don't have to think about it uh, because we have plenty of rights and I feel very safe and secure and and don't have a problem with anybody or anything I guess to respect the idea of human rights is to respect to be respected yeah. as a human and to be respected to feel that you're respected yeah okay so in Denmark, how are they uh, processed here? Well, I think they're quite good. Yeah. I do believe that we take uh, quite good care of, of everybody in Denmark. Yeah? The social welfare system is functioning really well. We've got free education, so on and so forth. But we even pick up the uh, lowers, lower people, the people yes, without yes. works and so on and so forth are getting help as well. Yeah. So all the people are equal. There, there are no discrimination between the healthy ones and the I wouldn't. I wouldn't really say so. I'm stuck right in the middle. Yeah. So no. Yeah. I, I feel I'm. I'm getting pretty well taken care of. Everyone's human rights are respected. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about the human rights in Romania? Are they respected? Uh, Most of them are respected, but uh, in our country, uh, the biggest influence is money. So even if you have the rights to learn, like even rights to live or rights to health, money usually talks about. So that gets us to our second question, if you feel that your rights are protected. I feel uh, my rights are protected, yes. Um, yes, they are, because I don't think about it, so yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So, have you, have you ever experienced uh, human rights being violated, like someone not being able to have an education, or like uh, someone being discriminated against? Yeah. Um, Definitely not, but I know cases like yeah? uh, this is in Romania. Yeah. Have, are they are uh, not equal treated uh, by uh, like Romanians? Yeah. So, okay. Personally, I didn't uh, have yeah. any problem with this. You haven't. Okay. So just to repeat, he's saying that he's ex uh, he doesn't have any personal experience with it, but he he's uh, heard stories and cases about gypsies being discriminated against. And, uh, have you ever experienced anything where you felt that your rights were being maltreated? Yes, about justice. Uh, it's about justice in Romania. It's more fake. It's fake? Yes, I think it's fake. It's not very transparent. Do you, do you think that the government or anyone, the police or something like that, could do something to avoid the, the discrimination from happening? Or Well, uh, yeah, police and the uh, educational system should be changed. Yeah. Because People don't have uh, good education, not all, yeah. and that's uh, that's for this uh, this type of problem. Okay. So, if you could tell the young Romanian something about human rights, what would you tell them? You don't have the right to take some happiness away. My message to the youngsters is that. Uh, it's important that uh, that uh, you don't take uh, human rights for granted. It's important to look at the history uh, and to, to see uh, how our grandfathers uh, fought for our rights. And uh, if you uh, 
And if you forget about that, you, we have a big problem. And that's not only in Denmark, it's uh, in the whole world. Okay, do you have any message from for the youngsters? For the youngsters? Uh, I can't say very much about that because I'm still a youngster. So, But the message, the actual message would be learn because it will help you a lot further. And basically, read everything you got in your hand. It doesn't matter. It will help you develop your personality, it will help you develop your speech, your relationships with others, and uh, in the end you need it. I mean, you can start a discussion on that, which is the most important thing right now. And what about the discrimination, for example? You mentioned that there's discrimination in your country. Is there anything you think should could be done about that? And he thinks that's a really hard question and that really shows how big the problem is. We're gonna conclude with that. Thank you very much.